Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am actually out, outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Venom Vlog, and today we are going to talk about what you guys wanted to hear from my visit to the Venom 2 set. And obviously I can't reveal everything. Uh, one, because I might have, you know, interpreted things wrong. Uh, there was time where I couldn't see what they were filming. I could only hear it. And then we saw some footage that other people put together um, to kind of, you know, piece it all together. And, uh, and so that's what I kind of been doing. I looked at the footage I shot when I first got there. And then I looked at the footage that, you know, kind of leaked online um, of Eddie screaming. We could hear Eddie screaming or Tom Hardy as Eddie screaming, but we couldn't really see what was going on. But we saw the aftermath of it and I'm able to put together kind of at least one little story beat here. Uh, but it could be a major spoiler, especially if I'm right, because I am still kind of guessing some of this. So I'm not 100% sure. I would fully admit that this is a little bit of guessing based on what we saw. Um, but uh, for that reason, I do want to also mention that I could be guessing correctly. And it, that means I could be spoiling something from the movie. So if you don't want a spoiler, from this movie if you want to walk in the movie blind I'd say maybe skip this video and for those of you who like you know checking out my vlog stuff because obviously this isn't just venom related stuff sometimes I you know do parallels of my own life and we you know I if I go on a road trip I film it and do all that I will make that video but I'll do it next I figured if I posted that video first you guys would be like that's great but you know we want to know what happened in the alley and we want to know what your you know what your guesses are what footage you had uh, and how you can connect these dots we want to know from your perspective what kind of went down and so again I'll tell you at least from my perspective not everything but at least this one thing this one instance and kind of what we saw and what you know I'm, I'm Frankensteining together here but I don't want to give away too much of other stuff that I heard, or overheard on accident, um, just by being in certain places. Uh, I don't want to give away everything. And then meeting Tom, because obviously you guys saw my picture where I got to meet Tom. I'll post it there real quick so you guys can see it. But as far as like meeting Tom, that interaction, all that, I'll put that in my next video because like I said, I don't want to bog down this video uh, because I know this video is just for the information you guys want. So yeah, make sure you stay subscribed. That video will go up after this one. And that'll contain all the footage, all the pictures, everything I took that's up there that's not relevant to this right here i mean i have some of it in there but this i want to just keep for you guys so without further ado here we go uh what happened a lot of you guys saw this footage here that kind of like leaked out there and it was uh, of eddie or tom hardy as eddie up in a window uh, in his apartment screaming down um he's going no 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 you know and you see him over and over he's doing multiple takes i'm sure they're not going to have all you know like five or six or seven of those nose in there uh, they're probably going to do one or two and you know cut it so it's just going to be a blip on screen in the movie uh, but it is tom hardy screaming down no at an event happening beneath him obviously in the alleyway and that's where the kind of the crux of what uh they were shooting uh, yesterday was it was in this alleyway uh so we were out on the street Earlier in the day, I was I was kind of by myself. I got there like around quarter till three or around three o'clock. And I I was just kind of walking up and down the street, taking pictures of the alley and all that stuff. And what and again, I'll show all that in my next video. But uh, but what I saw was they did a, a scene where Tom Hardy rides his motorcycle. And this is where I think the disconnect is because I saw a lot of you guys guessing what was going on in the alley. And some of you are very close. And I'm sure some of someone's probably already guessed what really happened by now, or at least what I'm about to tell you. Um, but uh, I think a lot of people didn't see these images. So this video here of Tom, I'm going to put on the screen here. This is what I shot. And this was of Tom on his motorcycle, uh, as Eddie Brock on his motorcycle driving down the street and into the alley behind his apartment building, which is kind of where they were filming this, uh, kind of in the general location, same location, like a block away from where uh, we saw that Cletus Cassidy footage the other night and so uh so yeah it's tom driving down the alley and uh and you know and he's wearing a red helmet and he's got a red motorcycle and that's the key thing here that's the puzzle piece that some of you were missing because i think a lot of you were thinking it was cletus's car that was getting destroyed and what you know and if you're like hey what do you mean being destroyed well here's the footage here so we saw eddie screaming and now we have this footage here you see this uh, symbiote someone wearing like a symbiote top hat uh kind of thing and their body's in a gray suit and I guess this is the technique they're using for, uh, you know, movement as far as the symbiote goes and what it's doing. So some people were theorizing that it, this could be carnage, that it's carnage, uh, you know, tearing apart something in the alleyway or whatever. I have a different theory. And so roll with me on this one. I don't know if it's accurate or not. The mask or helmet that they're wearing 
it looked darker. It looked a little bit more like Venom's helmet. Uh, but we couldn't see it because I couldn't see it up close anyway. We just had this, this alley footage. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, I can see where people think maybe it's Carnage, but I'm thinking it might be actually the Venom symbiote. Um, and, and it detached from Eddie and maybe is a, a uh, hurting Eddie in some way or disobeying Eddie or lashing out at Eddie for something uh, because you know obviously we heard they are going to go deeper into the relationship between Eddie and his symbiote uh, Venom and so I was thinking oh maybe there's something in the movie that either Eddie hid from the symbiote or the symbiote's hiding from Eddie or maybe their relationship is just a little rocky like any relationship you know maybe they're just struggling at this point in their life because now that they've kind of bonded at the end of the first movie and agreed to work together now comes the difficult part of working together and being in a relationship so I thought maybe they get in some kind of fight or argument and the suit detaches from Eddie goes into the alley and tears apart his motorcycle uh, so uh, so that's what I think I mean definitely his motorcycle cycle is what's being destroyed um not a uh, cletus's car and for people who are like well how do you know it's definitely his motorcycle well it's uh there was two motorcycles on set there was the main motorcycle that tom hardy drove down the the alley on then there was a second motorcycle that had chunks of uh pieces of it missing um so and that was the one they like wheel like walk down the alley and they set it up for the shot uh then there was also like these pieces like you know like uh, the plating around the motorcycle uh red plating that was getting thrown up and smashing against the wall when eddie's screaming no you see like a piece of the you know the motorcycle hit the wall and everything like that and so uh so yeah so it's his motorcycle being destroyed his new red motorcycle and like i said i think a lot of people would have guessed that if they seen pictures of the red motorcycle but since they haven't you know those didn't get online even though i was not the only person taking photos there but nobody seems to have posted those you know their their versions of the motorcycles um so the motorcycle would give it away if you saw the motorcycle because i know a lot of people have only seen cletus's car and they thought maybe cletus's car was being destroyed but it looks like the motorcycle and to even further that i do have this piece of footage here that i'm going to show of uh this you know someone uh, a, a crew member walking out and he's carrying these big gray things well i didn't know what they were at first until i you know at first we were like guessing what it could be but then when i was replaying the footage i was like oh yeah that's what that is it's another kind of like how they're doing the motion capture so again that's great information that they're doing motion capture obviously they would it's andy circus but i'm again it's it's someone wearing a gray suit um this is a gray foam you know shape of a motorcycle um and it looks like it's split in half and so it looks like maybe the symbiote is going to rip off you know chunks of the the motorcycle and then maybe at one point rip it in half and I, and I kept thinking of this visual right here from amazing spider-man 374 by mark bagley where venom is kind of ripping these things and throwing two things to either side of them um it made me think of that image i mean that's not what i saw because i couldn't see the filming of that stuff that was being ripped apart or the motorcycle being ripped apart but the shape of this foam that's what it looked like and again i i could be wrong there's a chance i could be wrong but i'm just trying to connect the dots based on what i saw so i'm 100 sure it's the motorcycle that gets destroyed in the alley that i don't doubt but this thing that he's carrying it looks like it could be something shaped like a motorcycle and then when the symbiote rips it in half or whatever or breaks it or smashes it against the wall however it, it, it destroys it um they can overlay the graphics of what that motorcycle looks like or a an image of that motorcycle over those gray foam pieces um that's what i'm thinking is happening so and yeah that must be hard work you know you have a guy in a gray suit and he's ripping apart something like a, a gray piece of foam so so to differentiate those two things like that's got to take a lot of work so again and we're going to talk about that in the next video and I'm, i might make a couple videos on what i saw there because this man do people work really hard on these things and uh, and it was so awesome to be there and see all that so uh so yeah that's what we saw i mean that's what we, we saw that i'm gonna share with you there was a little bit more but not much more but i still you know me i don't want to i'm it's already got spoiled for me but i don't want to spoil everything for you guys so don't ask me i'm not going to share anything else this is just what i'm going to share with you uh, Venom in the alley, uh, you know, the suit, I think, detached from Eddie and ripping apart his motorcycle. Now, for all I know, it could be the suit because Eddie, he's just screaming, no, I'm thinking, well, if he's in the suit, he'd be like, no, no. And then he would like jump out if he was still in the suit and he would jump down there and do something about it. So I'm thinking Eddie doesn't have a suit at this moment. So either A, it's this, his suit, Venom, tearing apart his motorcycle to get back at him, or they're getting, or they got an argument, they're fighting, or something. Um, either that's happening, or the Venom symbiote's inside the apartment, and it gave birth to, to Carnage, and Carnage went out the window and went down and started destroying uh, Eddie's, you know, um, motorcycle, and Eddie's screaming down at it, but because he can't, he can't do anything superpower-related because maybe the symbiote, his symbiote, Venom, 
has just given birth and it's kind of like exhausted or something. I thought of that possible scenario too, but I think that's the more deeper scenario that's probably not likely. I'm thinking it's usually the simpler one and I'm thinking it's the venom suit down there tearing apart his motorcycle. Uh, but that's just my theory. But um, I mean, it is definitely a symbiote tearing apart a motorcycle, whether it's venom or not. These are, those are the dots I'm just connecting based on what I saw. Uh, but I would love to hear you guys, you know, your theories out there, um, whether, you know, you th kind of you know agree with what i saw or whatever or you think i saw what i saw uh, because that's the thing you know people are like oh with movies like you know is this is because i saw people asking me like you know is this going to be better like do you know now for sure that it's going to be better than the first movie and it's like i don't know that for sure like i, I saw a couple scenes filmed and some of them felt like they were a little connected but I didn't see everything that was filmed. So uh, I don't know. I, you know, again, just being there doesn't mean you have all the answers. You're seeing one fragment of stuff. And that's why filmmaking is so hard because each day you're filming fragments and then you got to go put all those fragments together. And you just, you kind of, you know, you have a script, you have a blueprint, but it's still, you know, things evolve, things change and stuff. So yeah, I mean, you know, this, we'll talk more about that in the next video, but for this one, yeah, let me know what you guys think. You know, the motorcycle being destroyed, the symbiote, do you think it's them two in a lover's quarrel? Do you think it's carnage being born? And it's lashing out at his, you know, parents and it's destroying Eddie's motorcycle. What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. But thank you guys so much. Yes, this is Tom, uh, Tom Hardy's signature. And then I have Jacob uh, uh, Tamori over here. Tom's, uh, you know, his uh, stunt double and awesome dude. Super awesome dude, man. They were both so nice. They both remembered me. They knew who I was. They were like a Venom vlog. And I'm like, no way. I mean, granted, there was a reason for it in this case. It wasn't like he remembered me from a couple years ago something else occurred between me and them uh, that I don't want to talk about. I want to share too much public stuff, uh, but we'll talk at least a little bit about some of that in the next episode. So but make sure that you come back for that for sure. Uh, but again, let your thoughts be known down below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.